going Shea Bear 1000 here. Uh, we don't have any water pressure. Well, we do, but we don't. I'll explain that to you here in a second. So I got some parts here. We're going out here to the pump. And I'll show you what we're going to do. So stick around. We'll fix this together. Okay guys, so please forgive the shakiness of the camera. I'm using old blue today because I just wanted to do something different. Now I've, I have the water, the pump shut off and everything, but this pump, or this gauge, never worked. As long as I've known her, when the pump was running, this thing never built any pressure, nothing, it's never moved. So I got a new gauge for that. Here's the problem we we have is these points see there see you can see some ants in there right in there middle of the screen there's some ants these breaker points are I've been it's been getting down to where I've had to clean these once a year um, so I'm just going to change this whole thing out before we got together right after she bought the house uh, they put a new pump in but they never changed this or that. The bladder tank seems to be working okay. Never had any issues with that. As you can see, we have ant problems. The uh, past couple times, there's been a um, a uh, salamander, you know, a lizard, get in there and he'll get electrocuted in between them breaker points. So the other night, she said the water had went out, so I just came out and just went like that to them and they started working I had to do that a couple different times so I went ahead and ordered one of these and so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and change this out right now uh, first thing I would suggest doing is taking a picture of your wires which I'm going to do I'm going to take a picture of the wires so I know where they go and right under here they got tape on this one the new one has a uh, has a seal a rubber o-ring in it um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna check this out if this one don't have the o-ring I'm taking I'm gonna leave my o-ring out and just retape it same with that I'm just gonna tape that up so let me go ahead and get a picture of this and then we'll get started on changing this okay I'm getting tore up by mosquitoes I've been out here not even five minutes okay I'm going to go ahead. I've already took pictures of this. Now, I do have it shut off at the house. But if you don't have one of these guys, this thing is cool. I'm going to turn this on, and if there's any kind of power, it'll be red. If there's no power, it'll be green. So, I'm good to go. I don't have to worry about any of that. So, see, it's green. Alright. But like I said, I've already got it turned off. The switch is outside on the side of the house. It's real convenient. So, <laughs> excuse me, I did take a picture of these, so it's white, red, yellow, and black. So, and then green is the ground. And I'll show you the difference in these breaker points on how they look. Okay, so the green wire, I'm going to have to go get my strippers. I see the ground wire has broken off. There's another ground wire here. That was a little lizard egg right there. It was empty probably last year's, I figured. Alright. Now we're going to take this out of here. Yeah, see, there's part of that lizard egg. That's what that is. It's an old one, so I'm figuring last year's. Like I said, this guy came in, put a pump in for her, and didn't change any of this. I don't have any of these. Well, I think I do, but I'm not sure where they are. These little nuts. So, 
I'll have to find them. I'll come out and put them on at another another day and another time. Okay, so we're going to move that there and this over here out of the way. Now we're going to take the we're going to take this uh, this whole piece off here. It's still holding a little pressure. So I'm going to let this drain down the pressure some. Move the camera because I got water coming out of here. And once the pressure drains down, I did leave it on in the house for a little bit, but it's still going to hold some pressure because that's a lot of, I think this is, I forget what she said, it's 70 feet or something. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and let the pressure drain down, then we'll replace this. Okay, guys, so this old one, this is solid. So, and this one, I've already looked at it. It is not. See, it's got this. So that's why it's got that rubber piece. I'm going to have to leave that in there. It's not, it's not a big deal. Uh... Yeah, so, looks like this one had one in, or might still be down in there, I don't know. But, so I'm going, go ahead and put this back on here like this. Make sure the rubber piece is, yep, it's in there. And we're going to screw this on. I tried to get all that, that old Teflon tape off of there, I could. So, one went inside of here like this oops forgot to put my little boot on there I did spray myself down with uh, mosquito spray Look up here. Oh, see, that has that. That's why. Okay. Well, ain't biting me. That's going to go down there. On the other one, the green one, I've already sliced it back. I'm not going to be able to use this piece in it. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and put this in, make sure it works. And then tomorrow, I'll go get the conduit nuts. And put on here the way it's supposed to be. It's not that big of a deal. Just unhook these wires and Okay, so we got this one. Now let's tighten it up. Alright, there's that one. Now let's get this one put in here. Move those out of the way.
This thing was cheap. Uh, they were both right around 15 bucks. Got 30 bucks in them for the same thing at the hardware store up here. Uh, just this piece alone was 40 bucks. So that's ordered online. It's the same same company. Uh, what is it? A square D or whatever. So neighbor yelling for his dogs all the time. And we're right back at the line fence, so. <laughs> what an idiot. He's always cussing somebody out. Like, he'll be over there by himself cussing people out. What an idiot. <clears throat> Alright. Now we got this. Alright. Now, we'll put our colors back up where they were. And it's a good thing that we got the saved on our phone. Bringing it up here on gallery. <coughs> And here it is. Uh, ads. Jesus, he's getting on my fucking nerves. Looks like white. Looks like white, red, yellow, and black. Alright, so let's get those hooked up. <laughs> he's over there by himself right now. He's cussing somebody out. Man, if he ever talked to me like that, he'd be laying on the ground. I don't care. And like I said, I can't ever record. Nowhere. Stupid stuff like that, man. What an idiot. Over all by self cussing people out. So once I put these back on, these nuts and stuff, uh... What I'll do is I'll bend them around. I'll make them round so that way they go onto the screws better, like I did on the ground wires. And he did that one day. I was like, what the fuck are you talking to me? No, no, no. I wasn't talking to you, man. Yeah, you better not be. 
Let's make sure this will go on. I'm going to leave this off for a second because I may have to adjust the water pressure. Okay. Now, let's change the, uh, I'm going to get you at a different angle. And we're going to change the, uh, the uh, pressure, <laughs> the gauge. All right, hang on, guys. All right, now, we're going to get our wrench for the pressure, the pressure gauge. Like I said, this thing's never worked. So I can never check the pressure of what it was running or what it's supposed to be running. Alright, now, got a nice new one here. It's opened up. Alright, nice new pressure gauge here. Sit back down. My Teflon tape. Try not to block that hole off on the end there. Now he's down the street over on his street yelling. If I can get another turn on this, should be able to. Let's get another one here. And we'll go that right there so I can read it a little bit better. Now I'm going to go. I'll fast forward me walking up to the house, but I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And let's make sure everything kicks on. And I'm going to close this valve. And then we'll see. Jesus Christ. We'll see what, uh, see what the pressure is and then adjust the pressure. And we're building pressure. You guys see it rising? And shut off at 50. I'm going to raise it up a little bit. So it's holding good at Let's turn the water on here in a minute. It should kick on. It doesn't say what the kick on point is. There it is. About 55. Take it up a little bit more. Let's take this up 
a little bit. Whoa. This one here adjusts um, your kick on and kick off. This adjusts the kick off only. So. There it goes. Good. Good, be good deal. Let me... Uh, want to kick on a little bit sooner I'd like to have it kick on around 40 and shut off around 57 58 should be getting ready to kick on There it goes. That's 35. About 59. It seems like it's holding pretty good pressure. Give that a little turn there. Okay, it's holding, holding really good pressure. Okay, so... Put this on. I'm gonna tighten this down. Good deal. Okay. Now we have to install this. Oh wait, that's another project. <laughs> Just kidding guys. So there's our little project for today. Today, monkey. Well, she never had duck before, so we went somewhere to get wings, and I said, let's order some duck, because I heard people, people behind us got duck. We were outside. I heard them say something about duck, and I got to look, and they had duck. I said, well, you want to try some duck? She's like, sure, I'll try it. I got her some duck fingers, so I'll throw that clip in for you right now. What are you doing, Monk? Eating. What are you going to eat? Duck. You're going to have duck fingers, huh? Yeah. Have you ever had duck before? <laughs> All right, give it a shot. I'm totally DJing. Let's try it. Now, do you dip them? You can dip them if you want. Well, I want you to try it first without the dip. <laughs> so you can taste the duck. It's coming. Oh, that's good. She's never had duck, so. Fun. What's it taste like? Chicken. <laughs> Why does everybody say everything tastes like chicken? I don't know, because it does. It's duck. Mm -hmm. Good. You like it? Yeah. Well, that's all I have for you guys then. <laughs> yeah. Good. <laughs> all right. I'm going to try it with dip now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And you lived down here since you were 16, and you never had gator until you got with me. No. I do have that video up, too, yeah. where she first tried gator. Yeah. Now this is the first time she's eating duck. Yeah. Cool, huh? Yeah. All right. Okay, so while you guys were watching the clip, this has dropped about a pound, and it's got a good uh, probably 50 feet to go to the house, so... It's dropped about a pound. I think it'll be alright now. So let's go in the house and see what kind of water pressure we got in there. Okay, so now let's check. I may have to get some air out. But, here we go. Okay, pretty good. I have to blow my lines out. I gotta do them once a year. There we go.
because we got really hard water. I don't know if you can see that brown down in there. That's what causes that. But. Alright. So. Good. So once I blow the lines out. I got to clean this out. I just dip this in vinegar. And it seems to. Seems to do okay. So. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Clean that up. And then I'll be back with you guys. Okay. I'll show you what I'm talking about. It's time to flush these lines again. Plus I just had that out too. So whenever you do that, make sure you run water. See there's sand in there. Look at all that sand. So I need to run, these, run this water until all the sand goes away. And I'll do the same thing in the sink, and then the, the sink in the bathroom, and then the tub. Make sure all the sand comes out. Doesn't take real long, as you can see, it's already clearing up. Okay, so I couldn't find any um, vinegar, but that's okay. I did clean it out, let it run a little bit, and. much better so once I purge the lines again well, all I do is take uh, the cold line off of here and I'll blow air back through it and uh, I open the valves outside on the water spigots and I blow air back through it with compressed air and then I do the same thing in the bathroom the uh, the um, the bathtub of course I can't do that too because it's not real easy to get to the lines so Still need to clean these out, but once I do, see there is a little bit of a restriction there, but oh yeah, great water pressure now, cool. Like I said, and then I put uh, also this had one of these restrictors in there. You can take this out. Some of them, some of them you can't, but you can also drill them out. Uh, and then I'll I'll dump vinegar down in there. Then I'll leave this set in vinegar a little bit. Doesn't take long. I usually let it set for an hour, a half an hour, whatever. And then stick it on there and turn it on, and it's a big difference. There we go. Oh yeah, big big time pressure now. Yep, she'll be happy with that. Okay, so there it is, guys. Nothing to it but to do it, right? Okay, so there you go. That's just uh, putting a new pressure switch and pressure gauge on on our well. Um, I did go back out and check. We have no leaks. Everything's dry now. Uh, well, it was dry before, but I mean from when we took it off, all that water. I dried it up, and there. Were, there's no leaks. I'll, I'll check it again later tonight and periodically through the next couple days. Because just because it ain't leaking now doesn't mean it's not going to leak later. But uh, really, I think it'd be fine unless I get a faulty gauge or a faulty switch. I have seen that happen once, but it's not real often. So I'll keep an eye on it for a couple days. So, so far, no leaks. Everything's good. Um, yeah, when I went back out, that dude was still out there yelling. Man, I went off on him. I went right over to the fence, man. Come on, get over here. Come on. No, no, I don't want to see you, ugly fish, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, dude, you know, you're going to run your mouth like that for everybody to hear. You know, it's time to put up or shut up. And he ran in the house. And then as soon as I got to the back door, he come out of his house and started yelling again. What a piece of shit. Chicken shit. You know, I mean, there's kids living around here, you know, and he does that shit daily. And I'm, I'm just about tired of it. You know, and the neighbors called the cops on him, I don't know how many times, and they said that cops won't do anything because that's his right to do that. Not if you're disturbing the peace, it's not, you know. I mean, freedom of speech is one thing, but when you're disturbing others around you, like I said, you know, it's, man. All right, guys, so anyway, 
that being said, I'm going to say Shea Bear, the Myth Man, the Legend, I'm off for now. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. And uh, thanks for all your well wishes. And I appreciate that as, as well. So, anyway, thanks again, guys. Uh, be safe, and y'all have a good one. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. It's amazing how quiet it is once you get on somebody's ass. And they know you ain't fooling around no more. That's the way it should sound all the time here. Later.